After Morsi was ousted on July 3rd, the political rallies were focused in the capital here at Rabal Adawiya Mosque. But Cairo is not a Morsi stronghold, so the Muslim Brotherhood called its supporters across the country. Most of the people who camped in Rabah came from villages like these. Saif Shalabi was one of those protesters. Unlike our generation, Saif enjoyed the freedom that we achieved at a young age, so he's not willing to let it go. I cannot force him to stay. He always told me I would be one of these three things for the sake of this country, a martyr, an injured victim, or a detainee. Saif witnessed the Rabah clear out. He was slightly injured, yet he still continued to protest afterwards. Risking his high school education, Saif was arrested for protesting during the third anniversary of the January uprising. Another Rabah victim is also here in Sorad village. During one of the clashes with security forces, Muhammad Yusri was shot. The bullet hit his spinal cord, leaving only his right arm functional. I call my friends from time to time and make sure they are continuing to fight for our rights. I wish I could join them. If I ever regain motion in my legs, I will immediately take to the streets to protest. Mrs. Hamouda can't believe that six months have passed. She says it feels like it was one day ago. It was the day her husband, Ayman al Shafi passed away, leaving her alone to look after their five children. They think that by killing us, our cause will be over. In fact, I am thankful. Before, it was just my husband, but after his martyrdom, it's his family and his cousins and friends and many more who are now continuing the fight. Even those who are not interested are focused to free the country because freedom is life. To all Morsi supporters, Rabah has become a symbol of their cause. They make sure to flash it during their rallies. To the authorities, it's a symbol of a banned group, the Muslim Brotherhood, and the Rabah symbol is now forbidden. Six months passed on clearing out the pro-Morsi camps, but all the families who had relatives in Rabah are still in pain, vowing to continue the struggle that their loved ones began. Adil Mahroui, CCTV. Cairo.